During my time building things for clients and just for fun, I've actually learned a few things that have helped me speed up the way that I build and just get things done quicker. If you're interested to see what these are, stick around and I'll tell you how. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. Now the first thing that speeds up so much is instead of using that backslash linked created database and then having to search for that database, if you go to the six dot menu and just copy link of the database and then paste it in, it then creates that linked database that you are looking for, but it saves the searching and it saves the slash commands. The next thing is duplication, and whenever you're trying to duplicate something, whether it's a page block, a heading block, or a table in this case, if you hold the Alt key on Windows and click and drag and drop, it then duplicates whatever that block, or in this case, table is. So you can see I now have a table and two linked databases right there already. If I then add a filter to one of these linked databases, say, I want the name to contain row one. Now it's going to have a filtered view of the linked database. I then hold the alt and click, drag and drop and that filtered view stays exactly the same. So you can see I've copied that view. Now I can change that row one to row two. Now say we don't just want the table, we want a list view as well. So if we add the list view, so we have the table filtered view and a list view with a sort on it, now when we hold that Alt key, click, drag and drop, we've now copied that exact view. So we have the table view, the list view, the filter and the sort all there. So you don't have to create that linked database and go through that whole process again. This can also be really useful when you have loads and loads of different views that filter for the same sort of thing and you just want to change the views very slightly by adding in a filter or taking something out but you want it in a different place on that page. So you could use that copy, copy it down and then just change that one little bit in the filter rather than having to recreate that whole database view again. So after deleting all of those templates, if I go to the top database and start using a filter, and I'm going to filter by property two, which is a date property, and then filter for today, you can see none of the rows currently have a date. And when I add the date in, it doesn't really affect anything because it's not going to show in that table view. If it is today's date, however, it will show in that view. Now, because of the filter, it will automatically add that filter in for that table view. So you can see it's automatically added in today's date for that new row. I spoke more in depth about filters in another video, so maybe check that one out after this. But this can be a really useful tool when you're trying to input information and you don't want to have to input all of those property information. You could just have a filtered view with all of those properties automatically filled out. Now I'm actually going to manipulate those filters a little bit. So I'm going to use that alt copy again and drag that table down. And now I'm going to change the filter very slightly to yesterday. Now you can see because these are the same database, I can drag the row from one filtered view to another filtered view and it will automatically change that date to the view I'm looking at. So I can title this database today and then I can title the other database yesterday. Now I have a very quick and simple setup to change the date of the row just by clicking and dragging it from one filtered view to another filtered view. And you can do more than one at a time. So if you highlight all three of those rows, drag them across, that date will change. And it doesn't have to be the date. It could be a tag, it could be a number, it could be a relation. Whatever the filtered view is, that is where the filter will change and they are the properties that will change in those rows. Now I'm going to relate the table we had with table two, and then I'm going to relate some of these properties. And as you can see, when we go into that menu, you've got property one, property two, and table two. But if I want to change that view, I can't just drag those properties in the table because the view stays the same. So if I want to see a specific property first, when I go into the page of the table and then change the order of the properties there, when I go back into that relation, you can see now we've got property two, property one. Now, if you're looking for a checkbox to see if something's active, maybe you're looking for a stage to do, working or done. If you change the order in the page of the database, 
When you look at the relation, it will show that property first. Another little design tip is when you go into the database, you can actually change the color of the name of the database. So you can change that to gray, change it to any default color. You could change it to inline math, which I also have done a video about. So you can add colors in, change the design, change the size, loads of different other things. But it's a really nice way to design the color of your table and how it feels in a page. If you were to use the copy link and paste it in the template of the other database, you can actually see the database inside of the page of another database. Now I've actually got a more in-depth video about databases inside of databases, but using that template inside of a database can give you so much flexibility. If you're looking to learn more about Notion, make sure you check out this video over here and I'll see you there.